Hey everyone, I just got the finally assembled quarterly kit, the first one I've ever done, and I'm incredibly excited to be sharing this with you. So, here it is. Now, you realize we've been working for like, for months on getting all the stuff lined up for this, but I've never seen it fully assembled before. So here's the cool paperwork that comes on top with a kind of cool looking picture if I do say so myself. Well, it's just me. Recyclable paper, Yahoo. And we've got some pretty awesome stuff in here. So check this out. First off, the AeroPress. Now, if you don't have, say, a Lomar Zocco espresso machine sitting in your office like some kind of crazy people, you might want to have one of these. There are lots of good ways to make coffee. You can use a French press, and the AeroPress is pretty cool. A lot of people like this because you can travel with it. I've traveled with this before, and I don't, I often don't travel with the AeroPress because I've gone for like a lighter weight solution. Normally I just use a paper cup, but this makes for a cleaner cup of coffee, no doubt about it. If you've never used one of these things before, I think I have four of them floating around my house. They're remarkably cool. You get the cleaner and the, the scooper, but the main part of it is You get some filters, and there's always debate about, do you filter your coffee, do you not filter your coffee? If you prefer, you can get a metal disc that goes in here, and I actually recommend that you think about that. It's not required. This is a very tiny amount of paper, and what you do is you grind your coffee, and you basically make what I would call poor man's espresso. You put the coffee on, uh, you put a filter on here, screw it onto the bottom, add coffee, add hot water, and you basically plunge it. You stick this thing down, and what comes out at the bottom is coffee. And it's pretty good coffee. And here's a trick if you get stuck, and sometimes the plunger gets stuck, you tap the side and it comes unstuck. And you get like a little pressure thing if some of the, the coffee particles are ground really finely and get caught in the filter. So this is a way to make good quality coffee on the go or at home without a ton of equipment. So definitely should be in your coffee making arsenal. I also highly recommend a good quality espresso machine, but hey, that's just me. All right, what's next here? I feel like it's Christmas. By the way, I'm shooting this now. It's like 10 o'clock at night and the Bulletproof Diet launches in about five days. So I, this came all at the same time and I've actually spent half the day today like signing little things for my book and it's been a whirlwind. So I've been taking a ton of like unfair advantage. I've been drinking Bulletproof coffee and just doing everything I can to keep my resilience up. You might have seen my, uh, my post on Facebook about doing glutathione IV injections along with the Myers cocktail, stuff like that. So yeah, I'm flying to New York in about a day and a half for the book launch and I'm doing all this kind of stuff just in order to keep myself strong and focused and looking good on camera and things like that. What else is in here? What's next? Oh yeah. Epic Bars. If you haven't tried these things yet, check this out. That's what it looks like. Kind of like jerky, but they're not really like jerky. They are their own thing. You've got a bison bacon cranberry and a lamb currant mint. These are my two favorite flavors. Grass-fed meat, this is stuff made the way it was originally made. These are a great thing to have if you're on the road, if you're traveling, or you just need a, a snack. They're not zero sugar, but they're low sugar, and they're pretty good. So check it out. Last time I ran into the guys from Epic, well, they supported the Bulletproof Conference, but I was in Austin, and I went to Whole Foods, and I'm walking down the aisle, and, and a couple of the guys from Epic were there just, just shopping. I'm like, hey Dave, well, what's up? So I was like, oh, that's actually how I got to meet the guys, but I already knew the product because my kids love these. So every time I get a chance, I buy like a case of these and bring them home with me, and everyone's happier when I do that.
This stuff is worth paying attention to. This is the Surthrival Colostrum. Now, colostrum is something that is called like immune milk. It's got 97 immune factors in it, and there's 4,000 clinical studies of what colostrum does. So this is what comes out of basically a cow, a mommy cow, right after the, the cow is born or the calf is born. It has a lot of things that affect immunity in a, a, in a major way. It's also an adaptogenic effect on your body. So I've used colostrum for a long time, and I include a decent amount of colostrum, a different source than this, and different sources have different impacts on you. But I include some of that in the Bulletproof Upgraded Way. This is a very, very high grade, very high quality stuff uh, from my friends over at Surthrival. Uh, this is Daniel Vitalis' company. Uh, Daniel also spoke at the Bulletproof Conference. So I'm a fan of the stuff. I think that you're gonna really, really like it. It is possible to put it in coffee, but I recommend you make your coffee kind of lukewarm, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it that way. I would mix it in water or something that's either cold or room temperature for maximum absorption. If you put it in at coffee temperatures, it's not the end of the world, but this is precious stuff. There isn't that much of it, and it's highly bioactive, so I don't recommend getting it above basically raw temperatures. Let's see what else is going on in here desiccated liver because everyone wants desiccated liver. Actually, it's because liver, and I apologize if I offend you, liver tastes like crap. Like, I've cooked liver this way, I've cooked liver that way, I've soaked it in milk, I've soaked it in lemon juice, I've sliced it up raw. I once drank a raw lamb liver smoothie, and that was actually the most disgusting thing I've ever put in my mouth, including that time I ate termites live from the hive. So, sorry, if you can make liver, or your mother or your grandmother likes, makes liver and it tastes like licorice, I, I'm, I want to try it, but otherwise I've never succeeded on my quest to like liver. I can eat it, but it's never with pleasure. So my solution, especially when I'm on the road, is desiccated grass-fed liver. They chop up the liver, they dry it out, they make nice powder out of it, and they put it in capsules that taste like nothing. And you can take a handful of them and you feel good. So when I'm on the road, I take the equivalent of one ounce of raw beef liver every day. When I'm at home, I vary. Sometimes I have more, sometimes I don't take any, sometimes I actually eat some liver from a grass-fed cow or lamb, even though I think it doesn't taste very good. So this is just the most convenient way to make sure you do that. Now, why would you do something like that? You would want to do something like that because there's a lot of vitamins in liver and you probably don't eat much, and historically, we did eat a lot of it. So you'll get some iron. It's even possible to get too much iron if you overdo on liver, but getting a little bit is usually a good idea. If your ferritin's too high, you should back off on your liver. But you get a lot of the B vitamins and things that you're not gonna get anywhere else in your diet. So basically, between oysters and liver, there's a reason that those are sort of the foods for male performance. Uh, this is good stuff. This thing is cool. Check it out. It opens up, and then you like open it, and why would you have something like this? It's a soap dish. But it's a special soap dish because it's BPA free. And if you put Kerrygold grass-fed butter inside a soap dish, it might look like soap. And it might become invisible to anyone who wanted to find something besides soap in your travel bags. Truth be told, I've traveled, I want to say 400 flights carrying a stick of butter. It might be 500, it might be 300, but like hundreds of flights. I've been stopped and asked three times. Once here in Victoria where I live, and a couple times at LAX, and all the times I very politely don't be a jerk to the TSA guys, like, their life is tough. So, what you do is you're friendly, and, and they say, what's that? You say, oh, it's a medical food. And they'll say, what? And you say, yeah, diabetes, I have food allergies, there's various things like that. If you're polite and nice and kind, they're empowered to swipe the butter with one of those little chemical analysis strips, test it, see that it's safe, and then they'll let you go on your way. Be polite, be firm. If you're a dick, I'm sure they'll make you wait for like two hours and make life rough and you'll end up with no butter. 
but honestly, butter is safe and legal to carry on to a plane. It also matters, maybe, you could say that this is actually 84% fat, so it's not technically a cream or a gel. And if your butter is refrigerated or frozen, it's actually solid. So there's lots of ways to do this, but the biggest way is don't have any questions in the first place because you had a soap dish, and this one's BPA-free, and that's kind of cool. Next up, we've got the Holosync demo. And this is from my friend Bill Harris. I'm actually friends with Bill Harris. Just recorded a podcast with him. I've been to his offices. And I've been a lifetime member of CenterPoint since the late 90s. And CenterPoint does some pretty cool stuff. What they do is they make sounds. And, and Bill's made these sounds for like 30 years. He's been working on this stuff. And he's actually a Zen monk. And these sounds help you to become aware of these unconscious patterns you have in your body. And I've listened to Holosync every night before bed. I did it for, I want to say about three years straight, maybe four. I don't listen to it every night before bed now because uh, oftentimes I'm asleep already. But I, I think it's actually been an important part of me turning on parts of my brain that are turned on. And I do use CenterPoint on a regular basis. I just don't do it every night before bed. I usually put it on my iPhone and I listen to it on an airplane. That's the time you're most likely to hear me listening to it. You get the most benefit if you listen to it on a regular basis. I wanted you guys to have a demo because you can do things with sounds that really affect not just your mental performance, but your whole consciousness, like your self-awareness. And this is a, a tried and true program that's been out there for a long time. So I... Uh, you know, I, I have just a ton of respect for Bill personally as one of the kind of original biohackers. Uh, when I met him, he like, he threw down his brainwaves like on a sheet of paper. He's like, God, ah, check this out, here's my Delta brainwaves. And if, if you're into brain hacking like I am, having conscious control of your Delta brainwaves is actually quite a lot of work. And Bill's like completely into that. So real brain hacker makes real brain hacking sounds, the most experienced guy on the planet doing that kind of work. So I think it's worthy of your consideration and, and your time, and just to add some more value for you there. All right, let's see what else is in here. I'm looking, I'm looking for the Restwise membership that's in here. Let me see if where it is. All right, this is a beautiful membership. It looks like a postcard. Well, that's actually what it is. What it is though is it's. A six month membership to the RestWise website, which is worth by itself $99. That's what they charge for it. And they track your recovery using your heart rate, your blood act, your blood oxygen saturation, your mood, and your sleep quality. They're one of the only companies out there that's really taking a rigorous look at like pulse oxygen. So by using their kind of technology, you can get a really good sense for how overtrained or undertrained you are. And if not, just using their stuff to track your sleep, it's a really, really just high quality set of analytics that goes on top of your quantified self information. And it's also totally worth your time, especially if you exercise. What else is going on here? This is a coupon for the Power Lung. And you've probably seen the Power Lung uh, on the website. And Power Lung is, is ridiculously cool. What the Power Lung is, is a device that you breathe. You, you basically lift weights with your lungs. And there's a video on our YouTube channel of me doing it, so there's no point in me like interrupting all this to go get it for you. But what you're doing is you're, you're training your ability to force air in and out of the lungs with resistance. It's different than one of those like hypoxic training masks that makes you look like a terrorist if you go jogging in it. What it does is it makes the muscles work. And if you do things like public speaking like I do, or you're an athlete or a swimmer or a singer, any of those things, your performance improves noticeably. Like you can feel it. If you just do it like for a couple days, like you take a deep breath, you breathe in and there's like these interstitials, you feel the difference. Like there's a power in your lungs that wasn't there before. So I could only negotiate for the cost of this box. It's a 15% discount, but it's it's in there and it's one of those things that's remarkably cool. And I kind of feel like, like anyone who's really interested in their performance in general will do better when they have stronger lungs. There's also something else interesting that's come, come to light. I've been writing a lot. I wrote in the Bulletproof Diet book 
about the glymphatic system. This is the thing that moves cerebrospinal fluid into and out of your brain at night to clean out essentially toxins that build up during the day as you think a lot. So the more you breathe and the better you breathe, the more it pumps your cerebrospinal fluid. I'm wondering if the power lung may have an effect on that. I know having stronger lungs and doing deeper breaths will actually affect the way that cerebrospinal fluid moves. But I don't have any studies that says the power lung does that. I just feel like having stronger lungs and better breathing is correlated with having better circulation through the brain. So who knows, maybe better lungs equals better sleep. Haven't studied it, but you could go with the RestWise guys and figure that out too. All right, what else is going on here? Rapid response. Leukocytes, nitrite, urobilinogen, protein, pH, blood specific gravity, ketones, bilirubin, and glucose. So this is a box of test strips because what kind of biohacking box wouldn't be complete without P? I mean, you've got to have P, right? Everyone pees. At least that's what I told my five-year-old when he asked. So the reason I got you this is if you're interested in going into ketosis and you've never tried peeing on a test strip, this will tell you what you're doing. This will basically work. It'll also give you a bunch of other parameters. Now, knowing glucose would be useful if you're a diabetic. That's probably not going to matter for you. But if you are a diabetic, glucose could matter. pH, urinary pH can be influenced by a lot of things. I wouldn't worry a lot about this. If you want to hack your urinary pH, you might want to listen to the podcasts with Steve Folks where we talk about circadian rhythm and your pH. And if you're one of those people who needs coffee to function first thing in the morning, that's one thing about your acid alkaline ratios and where they turn on. And if you're one of those people who jumps out of bed at you know 5 a.m., 6 a.m., ready to, to conquer the world, you probably want to have your coffee an hour or two later because of the way your circadian pH response works. So it's possible to use test strips like that, but listen to the podcast with Steve Folks if you're interested in doing that, and you may need more test strips than that. You can buy urine-only test strips that just do pH for less money at the store, but this gives you a bunch of things that let you basically see how you're doing. What else is going on in here? We've got... Trying to figure out if this made it in there. All right. One of you has a golden ticket. And it's a golden ticket for the Muse brain sensing headband. I just met the CEO and founder of Muse. And I have number 17. It's probably over there on my desk because I use it. It's out. So this is one of the very first ones. I was one of their earliest Indiegogo supporters because I have had, in fact, yeah, I, I was just looking whether one of my other EEGs is around. I've had my own EEG since about 97, and they've been expensive and clunky and required their own laptop and $400 pieces of software with dongles. Signal processing is annoying. This thing is really, really cool. It's not the most accurate EEG you're ever gonna get, but it's very, very affordable. And it's about 400 bucks, I want to say. And what we did, in order to just add some value, because I think most of you who are buying this box are really going to want to use, so we got a 20% discount, which is pretty substantial for a young company like this. And before Muse, your other option was to spend somewhere in the neighborhood of $1,200 to $2,000 for an emotive headset, or another company was called NeuroSky. Now, I know all this because when I was at Basis, the wristband company, as CTO for a few months, I actually uh, recruited one of the guys who worked on Emotive and we met with the NeuroSky guys. So these are good quality neurofeedback equipment, but they were way more expensive and the signal was not as simple to get as this. This thing, you just stick it on and it works. There's no saline, anything like that. You do this, you run the app on your iPhone and you're actually doing meditation and you're doing meditation that is guided by EEG and it is superior meditation in my opinion, to unguided meditation because you know when you're doing it wrong. So many people, including me, when we're learning to meditate, you just do it wrong and then you get used to doing it wrong. And it's just like lifting. If you have bad form and you, you practice bad form, it becomes your normal form. And you can have 
meditation that still makes you feel pretty good, but it's not doing all it could do. It's doing 5% of what it could do, but you don't know. So I find with technology like this, it's going to help you get more out of the amount of time and energy you invest in your meditation. I consider this and like the heart math device or, or a, a chest strap monitor like a polar device or the Vital Connect patch with the stress detective software. Something like that, just so you can keep track of what's going on in here and what's going on in here. If you're not doing that, you're, you're simply using whatever self-improvement, sort of self-awareness things you've got, and you're using them at a small fraction of what they could be doing because you're basically wasting some of that effort. So that's why I wanted to include this in the box for you. So that said, I think it's a pretty awesome box. You've got stuff that has to do with coffee, stuff that has to do with pee, you've got liver, <laughs> you've got some big discounts on technology, you've got six months of looking at your data on one of the sites that's really looking at, at training and a whole bunch of different sets of data there. And of course, you've got some grass-fed lamb and beef, or I should say bison on these Epic Bars. I'm really pleased with how this whole box came together and I'm really looking forward to putting the next one together. I've already started gathering some of the things that are going to be remarkably, remarkably cool. And we're going to continue doing things that add up to a lot more than what you're paying for the box. This takes a little bit more energy than I thought it would, but I, every time I find something really cool, now there's this little filter, this process running in my head. I'm like, is that something that I could work, work out to include in the box? Like, is there a smaller size of that? Or can I get the company to, to give us a deal because it's so cool? So that we can basically pack in the most value for cool stuff that you probably won't have tried. You may have noticed something else. My book launch is in, um, oh, like five days or something, four days, whatever I said earlier. And uh, we didn't include a copy of the book in here. And that's because I know that if you're, if you're getting this box, you already pre-ordered the book a long time ago. And if you haven't pre-ordered the book, shame on you. Um, please do it now. Hitting the New York Times bestseller list would be an amazing thing. And anything you guys can do, positive reviews, anything like that on Amazon, ordering an extra copy for every person that you've ever met in your life, just little things like that, I'd be <laughs> so amazingly grateful. And on that note, I think you've seen everything cool that's in this box. And I'm really, really grateful to you for taking your time and, and taking a risk on the first box I've done. The next one is looking to be even cooler. Thank you.